It's Grich, and today I'm going to show you how to import a uh, an audio file or sample into Electra X or Electra 2. They are basically the same plugin. Uh, so starting from scratch here, uh, obviously you need to open up Electra X, uh, and and once you're here, uh, you will have you know the typical thing here. Uh, so with Electra X, uh, there's a lot going on, and sometimes. Uh, there's a lot to look at to figure out what is even wrong. So what I've learned to do when you're starting from scratch is to find, especially if you want to upload a sample, find a preset that you know you can work out of. And I'll show you why that is. So um, basically what I found is is that uh, the first sound here, whatever that means, oh, arpeggiator, clone, uh, the fancy sounds XP, have this for free on my channel. Th this one uh, will work pretty good. All right, so to get this to a base form, we're gonna turn off this uh, third synthesizer, so we have one synth. Okay, we're going to turn off this for now. And you can raise the mix or whatever. Uh, and also, if your arpeggiator is on, you just want to turn that off. Okay, from here, you're gonna select sample. This will change a little bit. You're gonna go load. Uh, and here is basically you have to go to the file this is just a file explorer and you're gonna have to go to the place where you put your drums for most people I'm going to assume that it is this uh, what do you call this address or whatever so you go to your your operating system or your C drive you're gonna go to the program files uh, times 86 uh, there's also going to be a just program files. You want to make sure you go to the 86 one. However, this is the default installation address. You might have changed it. So if you have, this is a disclaimer, go where you put it. But for most people, it will be program files x86, image line FL Studio 20, or 12 if you're using that, or if you're uh, somewhere in the future, your version of FL Studio, data, patches, packs, drums. And from drums, you will be at your all your drums packs, right? So I just went into a little peep drum kit for this video. So from here, you have two paths. Basically, it, when I upload or when I pick this first first one here, you'll see this is unsupported file format, no PCM encoding. Uh, I don't really understand this too much. Essentially, it means that uh, your the audio it's not that it's an unsupported file format, but that it's a WAV file that is at 16 bits instead of 32 bits. From there, uh, which I'm not going to go over in this video, but uh, I, apparently you can just change it in uh, Audacity, which is a free program if you all know. Uh, but essentially, you need to convert that file to a 30-bit format. The other thing that, that can happen is it actually loads up. Uh, and from that point on, I can play it's it's uh I play a higher seeking. Um and obviously there's that little high pitched noise whistle in there. I'm gonna take care of that in a minute. So from there you have some options here. You can go to clear, you can clear the sample. Uh the start is just going to be uh, where it starts, obviously. I don't know. Um and then this last option here is single. You can have it on single or loop. So obviously you can hold down the key and it will loop the sample. Uh, and then volume and mix. So when I play this, uh, let me go up in an octave. If it's dark, so I can't see my. But uh, there you go. Uh, as you can hear, there's like a little whistle sound. So we're going to look over on the the filter here. Um, and I'm going to basically explain. So once you, if you know what to do from this point, essentially, have at it. But uh, so filter, basically you can um, just go to bypass and it will turn that off. Essentially all, all that happened was resonance, which is, uh, it's not gonna show up on a bypass, but to go ahead and show you what resonance is, see this little peak here? When you increase the resonance, you will sharpen that peak. And so that whistle is, is coming from a focus on that one frequency. So, but essentially, Turn on bypass and there is no filter.
and um, you know from there there's a there's a lot of effects on it essentially so uh, there's the uh, pre-delay and uh, the damp and, and uh, reverb on it so turn that all the way down and there's still a delay on it but essentially the point is that there's a lot of shit going on um, and so yeah basically that's how you get in there and uh, well why I don't know why you would you would want to leave it alone but from that point handle the settings how you want that's a, a whole nother video I could make but uh, this video actually turned out a lot worse than I thought it would uh, so sorry but I, I hope that uh, you learned something from that um, I will probably make a video tomorrow explaining the PCM encoding thing and actually showing you how to fix that uh, but anyway I hope this was helpful thank you for watching